Ukrainian political strategist Oleksiy Holobutsky believes that Russia's partners are beginning to put pressure on Putin not to continue the war against Ukraine. Putin feels that the war is starting to bother his partners, and he is not talking about it directly. Of course, he is not the only one to say this. The same partners of the Russian Federation in the BRICS are starting to tell him about it. That is, the Russian-Ukrainian war has already brought everything that could be positive, so to speak, for these countries. We are talking, first of all, about China and India. However, no one is going to lift sanctions against Russia. That's why Russia's partners are hindered by the continuation of this war, Holobutsky said on Espresso TV. The political strategist is convinced that Western countries will continue to put pressure on China and India that support Russia in its war against Ukraine. Of course, the West will continue to demand that China and India take sides in this war, because this war has already become a problem for globalization and international trade, he said. But the United States has imposed sanctions on two China-based drone suppliers and their alleged Russian partners the first time it has penalized Chinese companies for supplying complete weapon systems to Russia for its war in Ukraine. Washington has long accused China of supporting Russia's war effort by supplying dual-use goods and components that could be used in the manufacture of weapons which Beijing denies. But in an announcement Thursday, the U.S. Treasury Department accused the Chinese firms of direct involvement in arms supplies to Moscow. The Chinese companies had collaborated with Russian defense firms in the production of Moscow's Garpia series long-range unmanned aerial vehicles, the department said in a statement. The drones were designed, developed and made in China before being sent to Russia for use in the battlefield, it said. The Garpia has been deployed by Russia in its brutal war against Ukraine, destroying critical infrastructure and causing mass casualties, it said. While the United States previously imposed sanctions on Chinese entities providing critical inputs to Russia's military industrial base, these are the first U.S. sanctions imposed on Chinese entities directly developing and producing complete weapon systems in participation with Russian firms. The Chinese embassy in Washington denied the latest accusations and said China was handling the export of military products responsibly. Israel's government says a drone was launched Saturday towards the Prime Minister's house in Caesarea. Neither Benjamin Netanyahu or his wife were home and there were no casualties, said his spokesperson in a statement. The strikes into Israel come as its war with Lebanon's Hezbollah, a Hamas ally backed by Iran, has intensified in recent weeks. שיגידו מה שהם רוצים. התורה יש לה תאריך מדויק, מתי שזה יקרה. The Israeli military released a video on Friday, it claimed to show troops operating in southern Lebanon. The army said in a statement that the forces located weapons, including sniper rifles, combat equipment and loaded launchers. Earlier this month Israel opened a new front in its war with Hezbollah, stepping up bombardment in Lebanon and launching a ground campaign against the Iran-backed militia after a year of trading cross-border fire. Officials said Wednesday that Israeli airstrikes pounded areas across Lebanon, killing at least 27 people in 24 hours, including over a dozen in a southern town where Israeli bombardments in previous conflicts are seared into local memory. 
Israeli forces in Gaza killed Hamas leader Yehya Sinwar, a chief architect of last year's attack on Israel that sparked the war, the military said Thursday. Troops appeared to have run across him unknowingly in a battle, only to discover afterwards that a body in the rubble was Israel's most wanted man.